Remember when somebody thought they put a kitchen sink in for this, like, intro, but it was, like, the meat droid from Kenobi? <laughs> oh, yeah. He <laughs> <laughs> just like, so much. <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> oh, man. mom. If it seems so. One makes you believe. Tribute. His eyes are really to close together. Times the amount <laughs> stolen from Aldani will be levied on any sector harboring partisan activity. P O R D. Poured. Any Poured. <laughs> With even indirect effect on the Empire. Well, henceforth. I'm also thinking back. Was, was that our first time seeing like a Holonet broadcast? All like actually reporting news? All outstanding fines yeah. and levies are to be I think so. In full. Oh, is that a lightsaber? Mon mm. Mothma. Uh, no. Morning? I don't think. Got a smile off your face. Slaying as always. Every outfit. Mm -hmm. Aaron deserves nothing. <laughs> what do you mean? All right, so if you gonna club her to death with it, <laughs> please, I would pay you so much money to see that. He grows or he dies. I take for granted because we know where Mon Mothma ends up, but at this point, at least to him, she could turn either way at any moment. It is dangerous. And it's all that question of does she have the stones to do it when it matters? That question coming up again. But it's true. There are no small jobs. Yeah, CJ, Luthen does seem to line up more with partisans. Lines up with their schedule. Some sectors might naturally appear more exciting from the outside. Time employee, you'll be surprised. I'm sure. Star Wars cubicles. Yes. Cubicrons. <laughs> There's a rebel murderer running free because of corruption and laxity in the corporate authority. I was punished for trying to uphold the law. Do my job, maintain public safety. He's not getting the job. Too many. <laughs> Let it go, man. Girl. You lost for a reason. Press starting. That's right. New beginnings. <laughs> we just. It's a love note from Tarkin. <laughs> it's giving H and M. <laughs> Course on high fashion. It's parsex ahead of everyone else. Oh, she's definitely got the strut. Girl, I hate the pants. <laughs> I know. Yes, sir, ma'am. <clears throat> Your tunic. Sorry. If you've seen Chicken Run, Mom. the pants make them look like Sorry. the Chicken Run chickens. <laughs> Everything else is a sleigh, though. The top. Uh... I need a multi sector data blend. Can do. Will do. This is Cyril's dream woman. Right. Yeah, but she wouldn't get one in either. <laughs> no. Like that. What, what's the term for made for each other, but but it's one way. <laughs> All right, Senta, get out of there. Survive. Ow. Trailer shot. CJ's waiting for their meet cute. <laughs> KG would cosplay as Clea. That'd be cool. Buried, gone for good. You sure? I almost didn't recognize her. You Same. read your message. She cleans up nice, though. Who's that? I hear you. Just, just hold on. It's great to see you, BT. Since when do we lock the door? Where have you been? <laughs> Tim. What? Tim can't <laughs> turn you in. Teddy Tim. No point in doing over it. He's dead now. The corpus killed him when they were coming after you. Damn. 
Oh, every outfit, every single outfit. Have I changed? I like the guy in the far left. We all had to adapt. Go <laughs> banker, no one pays me to be original. Your father said I needed to ask you if I may be excused. No one pays me to be original. Why did? Yes. Why didn't she marry this guy? I'm excused. <laughs> Lovely seeing you again. Uh, yes. Have fun. Because back in college, Perrin was uh, was a dreamer. Oh. Uh, Another part of the challenge. It's a difficult age. <laughs> I don't know why, but all of a sudden I have. I Perrin was erased to drive it. Don't saddle me with this bird. Is this personal or political? political. I've got a bad the feeling about this. Why? It's parasitical. <laughs> like I said, you both changed. I show you the stone in my hand. You miss the knife at your throat. Oh, God. Ooh. Bars, <laughs> bars. Find my politics a bit strong for your taste. Parents <laughs> on his way over. He knows none of this. He's not to be trusted. When your own Smart. husband is not there to be are. trusted. The that intrigue! Cool, the intrigue! <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, sorry, I just looked at the chat. It's Obi-Shan Kenobi. Shaving a haircut is Star Wars canon? I got pigs. <laughs> Better open the door. <laughs> I remember when your father caught me climbing over that wall. Hi, Biggs. I ran into a wall like I do. I'm staying. I need a B2 MO. not safe. I know. B2 is like a three legged dog of droids. <laughs> like with the yourself. stutter, but he's just so it's cute. Come on, dog. if you want to. Who's laughing? This is madness. No, it's not. It's over and probably doomed, and I'm too old. And I don't care. <laughs> Can I speak now? No! No! <laughs> Tell me if you understand. I'm wondering where we'd be right now if everyone here showed the same endeavor as Supervisor Vera. Hell yeah. I mean, oh, not to root for them, but... <laughs> the moment I'm reassigning the Morlana... Literally, I'm like, yes, Queen! Vera, and I'm like, Eric's actually, never mind. <laughs> Young, I will expect your report on all <laughs> This <day>. man. <laughs> We're going to have a schedule <laughs> coming on the next episode. Walk with me, mum. Hey, hey, ooh. Hey, Yamos. you said there wasn't going to be a beach scene. <laughs> manifested. Beach scene manifested. <laughs> oh my god, is that SoCal? I love it. Where's our Top Gun volleyball moment? Hey. <laughs> Oh, are Everything we gonna see some like baristas in Star Wars? Don't forget the pizzos. We don't have pizzas. Pizzos and revnos. I already know the editors are gonna have a field day with us. The greeny revnos. You liked it too. Pizzos and revnog. Green revnog. Oh my bomb. god! <laughs> I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! Short Trooper! Look at that! I cannot deny this funky what are group. They, are they just sitting watching the tide? <laughs> He's saying that you can't go anywhere without the it's Tony imperial Gil presence. It's Tony Gilroy. He loves his, like, Goa. What? <laughs> you heard me. <laughs> Wait, no. Oh, hey! Oh! Hey! I'm a tourist. Tourists don't. But I'm not running. You got that right. That window is shut. Okay, I know it's not, but it's, uh, it's oh, a okay. model. No. Ooh. No, you misunderstand. No, he. He meant watch. <clears throat> no, no, he means watch. Jeez. Mm. I thought they were gonna do it, but. It's what just pass. happened? Pistachios. <laughs> <laughs> Pistachios are canon. Yeah, it's, let's fucking go. Oh, there's some arabesh to pour over. I'm just a resisting toy. judgment. Oh, apologies all what? Around, then. This used to be. No, wait. Change your guidelines. What? I didn't do anything. Hey, take it up with the emperor. Wait. Six years for being a part of it. Right. You're a part of it. Oh, man, driving while black. 
It's like pulling someone over. You're one of them, aren't you? Huh? I'm going to Walmart. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I was Dude. giving. What do you mean, you people? <laughs> people are like, if I was in the Star Wars universe, I'd be doing badass stuff. No, you'd still be in accounting. They have Star Wars <laughs> accounting. You'd still be in accounting. <laughs> what? Wow. I mean, intermission episode was right, but it was still pretty dead. Like this, this Tony Gilroy knows what they, they know what they're doing. Comprehend what they're trying to do with each episode. Yeah. Obi-Tron says, wake up, Chaco. I was, I never went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that was such I mean, a every now and then I close my eyes for a brief second in order to wet my eyeballs. But other than that, hold on. I believe that's called blinking. No. <laughs> So, yeah, a lot slower of an episode, obviously. We can't follow up the the Aldani heist with more climax. You know, this is the aftermath episode. The ramifications. How does the Empire respond? And so far, they've responded to it as if it was just a straight-up robbery for money. But uh, Deidre's on top of things. What did you guys think? Love the change in music. It got. I mean, I feel like some people aren't gonna like that, but I love how drastically different it was when they went to space SoCal and they were like, "Let's play some, let's play some, uh, let's play something for the audience. Switch it up. Yeah. Out of the soundtrack." Hot boy summer <laughs> cast. <laughs> I that was a return to form for me. Like I, I told you guys last. Um, this weekend that like I really liked episode 5 I really liked this one like the writing is just so good in this show I just want to yeah. listen to all of them talk oh yeah the, the ISB scenes um, the the dinner party with Mon Mothma Mon yes. Mothma scene I was on the edge of my seat I know it's like they handled like um, hush tones um, public not public but like area with tons of people have to pretend like the tension it's like obviously um the way that they handle it and also like do we know this guy is trustworthy is he not she's delivering this message well it it was give, it was feeling very james bond to me which i liked it had such a drastic ch each of the little arcs has such a drastic tone change especially s like when you switch to styros it's like this man he just takes the banality of the Star Wars universe, like the brunt of a brunt of it. It's good to see all these shifts in tone. You know what? It also, um, I mean, it, it solidifies, you know, using K2 to track down and break out Jyn Erso. The first half of the season is Hero's Journey. You know, in this episode, we get to see the return with the elixir, right? He comes back, but he's different and home is different. And so he... He can't stay there anymore and now he has to figure out where he where he fits in but he doesn't there is no fitting in in this in this area with the uh with the empire yeah doesn't even fit in on you know goa india with the the, the side trans play <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah also you know like, he, he matched uh, a description I and mean, he got locked up <laughs> this was like the most we've ever had palpatine name dropped like ever like he was just constantly brought up which is cool because so often even in this era we just kind of ignore the fact that there's an emperor they yeah it, it was it, it not jarring but it's like she was like i was talking to emperor palpatine and like who oh wait yeah I like I, thinking about how there's this giant evil space wizard who's in control of everything but everybody doesn't know he's a space wizard they're just like oh the emperor kind of sucks i guess but it's like we know we know i talked to the emperor last night yeah and now um, he's got he's got six years for going to get some revnog and pizos yularen <laughs> like he's gonna get a pisco sour and the, I, I like that's what i hear that's it for the no cameos people, you know, we saw Commander Yularen. Was that him? I can't tell what. The, the, um, the captions gave it away. I had the captions. Oh, okay. Um, and that's why if you heard, like, when he started speaking, I went, <gasps> and it was because the caption said Yularen. Which is cool because we're seeing the rise of the ISB as well. I'm yeah. still holding out hope for Sinjir. It's not going to happen. 
but I'm still holding out hope. We knew that K2 wasn't in this season, but that's just, that's as much of a drop as like like a cameo as we can hope for. Like obviously they didn't get uh, Tudic to voice, but that's like hey, these are the droids that you're looking for. <laughs> these are the droids well. that uh, <laughs> are going to eventually become K2SS. So um, it just depends on which one. And then like if he if he's serving six years and he's in the, the next couple of episodes and, until the season finale is is Andor within the prison system. What is season two? Season two, two dick finally like K2SO breaks him out or something. Andor two, two dick. Wait a minute. <laughs> two, two dick, dick. too furious. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when it's 2.45 in the morning. <laughs> I'm reading the chat and they're saying this is an upcoming busy couple years for the ISB Rebel season one is also going on what's happening. I remember seeing a tweet and it was like, guys, don't forget the same time Andor is happening, um, Zeb and Ezra are busy st stealing a fruit or like they're yeah. off on their wacky hijinks, <laughs> which I do love to think about. Yeah, Callus is, uh, Callus is, uh, doing his thing against them as well. Do you think we'll see Callus? Do you think that'll be something? I, 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 like, they could just have a ginger guy and we'd be like, oh my god, it's him. Crazy. I can... I, I, he's got pretty, pretty specific chops, you know, like, he needs that facial hair structure. I can imagine it makes, it would make narrative sense for him to show up. I don't know if we mm -hmm. are gonna get him, but... ISB. Because we have the ISB. Yeah. Just so. give me a background dude with mutton chops, and uh, and uh, that's enough for me. No. <laughs> just, oh. you know, be funny if like one scene is just a guy in in the background with mutton chops, <laughs> and he's just like chop of the hut. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I like costuming wise. I was gonna say. Um, we're seeing, you know how like George always said that the Jedi wear very nondescript clothes that look like anyone's clothes? We're seeing a lot more of that in this show where the regular people are wearing robes and stuff that look very similar to what Jedi wear. Um, Tay was wearing that or whatever his name was, Colma. Um, the newscaster, mm -hmm. like they're all wearing those like similar like robes and belts that the Jedi wear which reinforces that idea of how, why was Kenobi wearing that on, on Tatooine? Cause that's just what people wear. Yeah. I feel like that's a galactic trend. That's like the yeah. galactic shirts, t-shirt and pants or t-shirt and jeans. Yeah. Maybe it's only because it's so fresh in my mind right now. Yeah. He's not high level, so he could just pass someone some papers and leave. Depends. Again, it's I, it's if, ISB. We could see him. If Callus just shows up, it's like here's the quarterly reports, and has never seen again in the show. <laughs> I think that would be kind of funny. I mean, we had Melu run cameo. I think all these fruits kind of get lost to me. And good mm -hmm. news, Pep, because I watched the trailer before watching this episode tonight. We will see Bix again, according to the trailer, because there's a scene in the trailer with her and Dedra. So. We should oh. see Bix again. That's a. I gotta rewatch the trailer. Yeah, I went back after the Aldani arc, and I was like, I have to watch the trailer again. I'm like, because I have no idea what's I, gonna happen. I'm like, uh, maybe I shouldn't revisit these scenes. At least not not for this show. I'm 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 enjoying the ride of Andor, um, so far. 